Hey, it's Andrew Huang. Welcome to another episode of Four Producers Flip the Same Sample, the show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. In today's episode, our guests will be Jana, Mr. Bill, and Diala. The four of us are gonna take the same audio sample and use it as the basis of a new track, whether it's an entirely new creation or just a remix of the original piece. This is really about how creative minds will take the same material to completely different places. One thing we're gonna do different from the last video is we're not gonna be allowed to sample a whole song. I really wanna be able to play the full sample in the video so you can all hear exactly what we have to work with. Last time it led to a bit of confusion. So uh, without further ado, let's introduce this sample. It's the intro from my my friend Melinda's new song, Running. She just dropped a really great record, so uh, that's how we picked the sample this time. Nepotism. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and just humans in general, so I wanna support her. Here's the sample. One day you're talking sweet and telling me you'll stay And I believed every damn word you'd say I'm not sure how the clouds gather so fast But once the rain started pouring I knew this flood would last Jana, I am a producer slash DJ and I'm very excited to be part of this project. So when I first heard the sample, I got a really grungy and edgy sort of vibe from it. First, I started off by using the first part of the vocal sample, making it into like an overlaying pad. It sits across the entire track except for parts of the drop and it kind of gives a consistent ambient sound towards the entire track. But then I start to layer my own instruments by adding a very reverbed out piano and I also add in my own hip hop beats. I start to bring up more instruments when the build-up starts. During the build-up section, I decided to play with part of the sample. I duplicated it, multiplying it many times. I am also pitching up the key of the sample. And here I have my drop. It's a bit darker sounding. Ooh. This is badass. One day you're talking to me and telling me you'll this. stay. And I'm cool, like dark. Every dark damn beat word you'd say, I'm not sure. Can't wait to see where this goes. I gathered so fast, but once the rain started pouring, I knew this flood would last. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go. Classic. Yeah, it's so hype. It's so hype. Bring it. I love that horn. That horn is, it's like giving me chills. Contrast with the rhythm. Ooh. Yeah, Jenna, you really brought it. It's good. I like it. I'm envisioning like a chase scene through a prison. That was epic. Like a fight scene. I kept getting hit in the face, you know? Hey, how you going? Mr. Bill here. And today, Andrew Huang asked me to flip a sample. I wanted to make it as abstract and glitchy and strange as as possible whilst still keeping the the general vibe of, of the sample. Allow me to get turned. 
<laughs> so the first thing I did was I just tried to make some form of like pad and I tried to remove as much of the melody out of the vocal in this as possible because I didn't want to be influenced too much by the vocal melody itself. So I put one in a sampler and then I just looped one. So we have one that's looping over four bars and one that's looping like every quarter note or something like that, which gives the <coughs> the tune a pace from the get-go. So the second thing that I did is I took uh, one of the parts of her vocals where she just said like R ah, or E or something like that. And I just took that tiny little sample and I put a reverb on it and then I rendered it. So it's kind of just like a like an R ah or something, but with a long reverb on it. And then I used that to make this chord progression. <laughs> But I didn't introduce that instantly, I kind of filtered that in because it just sounded like a bit intense to have happening instantly. So this here is the main vocal basically. Uh, I used a few different glitching effects and just kind of rendered them all out. So if I just drag all these out you kind of hear what they all sound like. And then I just took little chops of it that I liked and mixed that in with the dry vocal so you get something like this. We can talk about this vocal riser too. This is essentially the same as what I put into this sampler. It's just like a little R with like some reverb except just reversed. It just makes a nice little sort of ambient background layer riser. We should talk about this percussion actually. So this brain dance percussion came across pretty interestingly. Originally what I did is I re-grooved the, vo the vocals and if you have watched my channel before, you know I've done a, a video on re-groover and you can check that out and you get elements that sound like this. You can hear it's kind of cutting up like parts of the spectrum in interesting ways. And then that's where all the distortion stuff comes into play. And then I also have some like chopped up edited versions that sound like this. And then in context, that sounds like this. So the only other thing that, that I could talk about is um this fat acid base thing that sounds like this so what this is is actually the entire song rendered and put into a sampler so i just drag this playhead right back so it's just taking the first kick and bass and then made made an acid base out of that and then i was like oh well, acid bass that's a cool vibe so then i just used abl3 here which sounds like this <laughs> Oh yeah, and then there's just some little vocal chops that I took up here. Hope you appreciated that and enjoyed it. And if you want to see a longer walkthrough, there'll be one on my channel. Cheers. Glitchy, man. Ah, what? Syncopation is crazy, man. Hi guys, I'm Diella. My initial thoughts with the sample was that, you know, it was sad and I didn't want it to be. So I changed it up. I made it happy. I put the sample into simpler and pitched it up four semitones. I then EQ'd out the low end of the sample. And this gave me more room to make up my own bass line, which would then 
manipulate the song into sounding like it was a happy song. I just played around with the sample for a while until I came up with this riff. It had a bit of a pumping feel so I put a kick on, on the beat to, to really drive that. I grabbed my bass guitar and just started playing around with riffs and came up with this. I then picked up my guitar and I ended up with two separate pieces that play together in harmony and this sort of filled out the space with a lot of delay. For the next part I wanted to add some of the lyrics that were in the sample and I ended up using phrases and words that were a bit more positive to make it happier. I duplicated the lyrics that I chopped up and had one playing it an octave below. So it sounds like a backing singer and I think I actually got that technique from an Andrew Huang video in the past. I'm using your powers against you in this Andrew. How do you feel? I wanted a second section that was a little bit different and uses the end of the sample. So again I just had it in simpler and played around for a while until I found a pattern that worked with what I was doing. So I just want to say thanks to Andrew for including me in this. I had so much fun making the song and the videos and things like that. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. She's done the same sort of thing as me with the looping a little bit for her ambience. Love all the sense. Wow, she completely changed the vocal melody. The original sample was like in a minor key and she changed it to a major key for this song. These drums are so clean. Whoa, I love that snare. It's like so back in the mix. It's good vibes, good vibes. Interesting change up. Oh, wow. It's so detailed, I love it. That was full of full there, but for some reason it's still eluding me to like a half time thing. Nice one. Great atmosphere. That's uh, fantastic. Oh my god. Alright, so a little bit of context for how I chose to work with the sample this time. Last episode, I got a lot of comments where people were saying that they didn't think I even used it very much. And that's my fault. I didn't do a good job of explaining how I used the sample last time because for the pacing of that video and with my segment being at the end, I just felt like we should keep things moving along. If you're interested, I did upload a more uh, in-depth walkthrough video of the last track from the last episode that I made because it really was mostly the sample. So because of that, now I'm just feeling like I have to prove myself. And so in this episode, other than one kick drum that I'm adding, everything in my track comes from that 20 whatever second sample of Melinda's song. Let me show you what I did. My track starts with this tiny little loop that I grabbed. Throughout the piece I've taken a few chunks that I've slowed down or sped up and reversed and added reverb to, uh, to just create these swells that act as really nice transitions. 
With the vibe the song was giving me, I decided to go in a direction of like a Drake type beat, and I chopped up a few parts of the sample and just filtered out all of the treble, so it's just this kind of low end bed for the track. I took a tiny piece of Melinda singing the word clouds and used that as sort of a rim shot snare kind of thing. I'm not sure how the clouds go, how the clouds go. Here's what it sounds in like a pitch shifted fill with uh, some reverb on it. I also took the tiniest little piece of the S sound from the word last. And that is our hi-hat. At one point I also take that clouds snippet, the k, and uh, I just put a ton of reverb on it to create this kind of impact. And the last couple things I did were just chopping up some vocals. So I pitch shifted the track up and I tried to isolate some of Melinda's singing to just drop on top of the track in a nice little airy kind of way. I also took a whole bunch of smaller vocal snippets and pitch shifted those down to just add another kind of rhythmic layer to the track. Big Boss Andrew Huang's tune is the... Chomping. Ooh. Oh, that snare. That snare made out of the vocal, I believe, is super cool. Yes. Was awesome <laughs> oh that really took it out of me well done guys i loved listening to these so i'm gonna have to listen to them again we're making all of these tracks available for free i'll link to them in the description i think some of the producers are also going to do more full in-depth walkthrough videos of their tracks on their channels i'll link to that as well i'll link to melinda oh just a few days left to get this high five merch just t-shirts hoodies pop sockets 820 water bottle 820 beanie i guess i'll also link to the video that explains what the 820 crew is is this how hats work? Thanks for watching, bye!